Welcome again, everybody, to Hot Plate Madness. It's Roger again, and this is Isabel. And Hello. Isabel is uh, going to do Isabel's jalapeno poppers today. Yes. Can you tell us what are the ingredients for this thing? Okay, so today we're going to need cream cheese, sharp cheddar, bacon, obviously jalapenos, a little bit of corn, and some salt and pepper. Okay, and... Uh, oh, and it, some olive oil as well. And Isabel absolutely nailed it with the bacon. We all know uh, <laughs> from watching uh, Hot Plate Madness how much I love bacon. And so, yay, obviously automatically a winner recipe. So what's the first <laughs> thing we need to do? Do we need to cut the jalapenos? Yes, let's get started on those. Okay, and how are we so. cutting those? Um, so it's best to cut off the tops and the bottoms first, and okay. then cut them in half, and then we're going to de-seed them. So we're doing them, we're cutting the top and then we're cutting this way to cut them right in half yes. like that? Yes. Okay. All right. These are some nice looking peppers. Well, I did the best job I could. You know, it's it's Walmart peppers, right? <laughs> so I, I didn't know if I needed to go there or to cars. So I cut the ends off and then I just cut it. Just, just slice down. it right down the middle. Okay. Oh, those are beautiful. And then there's all these seeds and things in there. I'm getting rid of those? Yes. We're going to de-seed them. Okay. So, so I'm going to do that. And jalapenos, of course, are really, they're hot, right? They are, extremely. So you want to wanna be careful that you don't get any of the juices in your eyes. <laughs> right. <laughs> and if you watched last week's episode, yeah, you heard the same story, where uh, you don't want to be touching your eye or anything else once you're dealing with these things. Actually, a fun fact about jalapenos, they're the state pepper of uh, Texas. So... Okay, yeah. that's, uh, so that is... What's known as punching us in the face with some knowledge right there, because that's what she is. So the, the state pepper of Texas is yes. a jalapeno. Now, is there a state pepper for Alaska? Um, I am not aware There's, if we have one. It would seem unlikely, right? I would think that we would more have like a state vegetable because of all of our <laughs> huge pumpkins right. that we have. Exactly. exactly. Oh. I was going to tell a joke about cream cheese, but that'd be too cheesy. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. <laughs> And so you're, are you just tear, you're just tearing it up? I'm right? just I'm just going going ham for it. Okay. Just going so crazy. It's just a matter of getting the the seeds out completely, right? Exactly. Doesn't have to be a delicate process. Right. And have you made these before? I actually have not. So we're kind of <laughs> okay. we're kind of going on this journey together right now. All right, all right, good. So if my memory serves, didn't I say, hey, Isabel? Uh, give me a recipe of something you like to make. Yes. I, <laughs> well, I do enjoy jalapeno poppers a lot. And actually, um, our neighbors used to make them quite frequently for us. So sometimes I would help in sometimes. Okay. But I'm a little bit experienced with it. Not well, going. I'm actually okay with the whole idea of, hey, I don't necessarily have made them before or anything, but I really want them. So let's, let's go for it. Exactly. All right. And we've got, we did eight total. So that's going to ultimately give us uh, 16 poppers, right? Ooh. Is that the idea? Yes. Okay. And if you don't have a hot plate at home, you can heat up your oven to 400 degrees and put them in for about 20 minutes. That's probably a lot easier than the way we're trying to do it. <laughs> Although you could probably put these on a grill too, right? Like if yes. you had an outdoor grill kind of thing. Absolutely. So if you had a camp, camp stove kind of deal. Ah, she, she, she's seen the show before. See that? <laughs> yeah, we just throw it on the, on the floor. Just going crazy. Just on the floor. Get all these seeds out. All right. Well, thank you for having me on the show. Oh, well, my pleasure. Yeah, and Isabel, you're also, uh, you kind of work at the, as a barista in our little cafe here, right? Yes, I do. I've been working here for almost a month now, and it is wonderful. I oh, love it. Good. It's such an amazing job. I get to meet such positive, amazing people every day. It just awesome. lifts my spirits. Okay. Well, and we didn't pay you to say that. <laughs> nope. All right. So perfect. Good. All right. All right. Had you done any barista work before? Um, I was trained at Rochelle okay. um, to be a barista, but I didn't get a job until just recently. I was applying for a while to try to get some coffee shop jobs around, but... Nobody was hiring, but then you guys gave me a call, and that just made my day. Cool. So. All right. I like that. Okay. All right, so it looks like you've got all yours done pretty yep. much, right? And mine are done. And and so now, what is the next step? All right, so the next step is we're going to combine the cream cheese, the cheddar cheese, and the kern kernels into one bowl. <coughs> okay, so we've got the bowl. Okay. 
<laughs> wow, and one thing you probably notice is happening right now, I'm getting some jalapeno uh, <laughs> fumes, and that's making me cough a little bit. Ooh. But that's okay, because that's the idea. And so, how much of that do you use? Because um, that thing is like... Let's see. It's about... So this is one-fourth of a cup of cheese, mm -hmm. so we're just going to add all that right Oh, okay, in. great. And then you need about four ounces of cream cheese, and a regular size block like this is usually eight ounces, so we're just going to cut that in half. I like that. And you softened that up a little bit too. You didn't want it yes. just straight out of the fridge. So you no. want to let it soften for a bit. You want it to be nice and creamy. Okay. Let me just add that right on in there. And then the corn seems like a weird ingredient for this. Does it seem weird? Yes, but it actually adds a really nice texture to it and okay. a little bit of flavor, and it's not too bad to have some vegetables in your diet. So Well, but, well I mean, yeah. there is the jalapenos. Jalapenos but. kind of a thing, right? <laughs> and so then uh, there's also salt and pepper if we want, yes. right? And so I don't know how much salt or pepper you like. Usually but. I add just about like a couple of dashes, okay. maybe like three to four. Get it nice and right, good. Again, the idea with salt is, right, If you could always add salt later. Exactly. Right? So if it's not salty enough, you can do it later. But if you did too much early on, then you've kind of maybe ruined the whole meal. <laughs> that would not be good. <laughs> we don't want any ruined meals here. And so this I should kind of turn on, I suppose. There yes. it goes. And, we... oh, man. and we're going to coat it a little bit with some oil as well. So your cream cheese might be just a little bit stiff, so it might take just oh, it? a few okay. minutes. I tried to, to do my it best. It's, you know, the audience at home knows that when I have a specific task to do, I often fail. <laughs> and my only uh -huh. job today was make sure the, the cream cheese was You had open. one job. I know. One, one job. job and, and I apparently failed once again. Dang. But, because that's that supposed to, maybe that, that needed to be even softer is what you're saying. Exactly. Basically. Yeah, okay. But this is coming along nicely. That looks good. It's going okay though. Okay. Alright. But we wanted it we want it more of a smooth kind of consistency or is this doing okay? So we want it to be not too smooth and just maybe just a little bit chunky because so we're you gonna be stuffing it. You wouldn't like take like a, a power mixer. No, absolutely like not. Okay. Yeah, we want we want texture in there. We want flavor because okay. most of the um, cream cheese will melt whenever we put the poppers on top of the stove. Okay. So we want it to be exactly like that. That's looking good. So okay, looking so hard. good. So um, so show us how then to actually stuff one of these. Things. All right. So what you're gonna <laughs> do is you're gonna take two halves and then you're gonna take a little bit of our mixture right here. And you don't want to overstuff your poppers because then. I mean, then that just wouldn't be good. <laughs> okay, I like that. That's technical jargon right there from the kitchen. All right. Would not be good to do that. <laughs> and then we're also going to wrap them with bacon, right? Yes. But we actually want, we don't want the whole strip of bacon. We want like just a half strip, right? Yes. So we'll just cut some of this bacon in half right here. Mm -hmm. And are you actually combined? are you just wrapping the bacon just around this one guy? No, so what you're going to do okay. is you're going to uh, fill two halves full, about, I would say, about up to there. Okay, okay. And then you're going to take them together, you're going to press them together, like so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it might become out a little wonky, but trust me, they're delicious. And then how does the bacon work? Okay. They, they, it says cut it in half. So we're going to cut them in half, and so we actually need toothpicks for this. I, I have those. Yes, awesome. When I was at Walmart, I got some. All right, perfect. So how does that work with that? So, so what we're going to do is we're going to swaddle this up like a little pigs in a blanket, but it's a jalapeno in a blanket. Okay. So we're just going to do a nice wrap. You want to do it mainly down the middle, okay. and then you want to make sure that the end piece rests right on top so that and it so can stick I'm, through. You're just putting that right through. Okay. And then, so let me get some oil on here. There you have it. All right. Mm. Then just a little dash of oil there. Yeah, this thing's going to be really hot. Okay. okay. All right. <coughs> well, that's good enough, I guess. Ooh. Okay, that's nice so that's it. pretty much. And then when, so you're going to let stuff melt a little, and then you're going to be turning it. Is that kind of how yes. that works? Yes, so you want to okay. turn it about every 30 seconds, just to make sure that oh, all sides okay. are all evenly coated. All right. 
It's a little bit of, this process is a little bit of a hassle, but it's definitely worth it. Okay. So I'm going to start continuing to fill up the rest of my pockets. So should I turn this down a little bit maybe? Is it um, yes, I would put it to right. a medium to low heat. Medium. Okay. And it usually takes about five to eight minutes to cook thoroughly all the way through. Okay. And mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you know when it's done? Just kind of... Whenever, yeah, whenever the bacon is a little bit of a golden brown, but it depends on how you like your bacon. Sometimes mm -hmm. I like my bacon a little burnt, actually. Yeah. So it's all up to taste. Duck. Oh, like a little mini soldier. Yeah, that's right. That's the idea. I bought. I made sure to buy those instead of those other ones that are like super, mm. super thin. You know, I wanted, oh, yeah. the, I wanted the pointy. Is this? Made I wanted the pointy. But is this solid oak, though? Are these solid oak? Chips? You know, that is a good question. I mean, they're Walmart brands, so they might not even be wood. <laughs> Ooh, dissing Walmart here. Well, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> After the nice peppers they gave know. you. Well, and that, yeah, they Poor did. I, I dug through quite a bit to get the get these particular ones, because some <laughs> of them were looking pretty nasty. But. Oh. All right. Just going to continue on filling our poppers here. And so that right there, that would be too much. Yes, that would definitely <laughs> that would definitely be too much. Yeah, I think we're just too hot. It's too hot in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. All right. But that is some beautiful bacon, though. Well, and all bacon is generally beautiful. Yes. And it gets more beautiful the more you know you cook it and stuff. And the more yeah. you eat, the better it is. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. See, I knew I picked the right person to be our guest chef. Today. <laughs> understands the bacon qualities. Exactly. You need to know the good things in life. All right. Okay. And so we've got enough to make a whole bunch of these. Oh, yes. Wow. All right. This is definitely like a great party appetizer or just like a general snack, you know? So a little fun fact about me, I like to collect comic books. So <laughs> I'm kind of a, a nerd when it comes to that sort of thing. I love video games love comic books. I'm actually starting a top hat collection right now, so I only have one top hat so far, but kind of like them. Well, and now it's like even more uh, like there's a reason we're doing the show together because I have a massive comic book collection as well as uh, No way! Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, that is so cool! Yeah. I have comics from long before you were even born. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's amazing! Yeah. What's your favorite? Oh, definitely X-Men. Okay. X-Men is my top favorite. Like, I know this is a very controversial, uh -huh. like, thing, but I definitely think that X-Men is better than Justice League or um, Suicide Squad. Oh, well, yeah. Anybody who's into comics knows that. Even, well, I love the Avengers, like, so much, uh -huh. but, like, I, I don't know. There's just something about X-Men that just, like, they're next level. Like, right. they're absolutely my favorite. Yeah, I have a gigantic collection of X-Men comics. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. You should bring them over sometime so I can read some. No, they're all in these oh. filing cabinets <laughs> where no one can ever touch them. That's where they should be most yep. of the time. Yes. Want to make sure that they're safe. Yeah, exactly. I understand that. I have some uh, Star Trek action figures uh -huh. at home. Because I love Spock. Spock is my favorite. <laughs> yep, of course. <laughs> you can't lose with Spock. No, so. no, you cannot. All right. It's always nice to listen to bacon sizzle. That's yeah. when you know you're going to have a good morning. Or afternoon or late night. Exactly. Right? You got your bacon, bacon cheeseburgers, oh. bacon just sitting there by itself. You're not American if you don't like bacon. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's in the Constitution. <laughs> now with this recipe, you don't have to add corn, but I just did as a personal little touch because I just like it that way. But if you don't like it, it's totally fine. Don't feel bad about it at all. I like that. And so this one is, is done. Yes, right? <laughs> that, okay. that one is definitely done. <laughs> so we'll take this one out. And then are you are you undoing the, the toothpick or does it just sit in there? Usually I like to leave the toothpick in because I think it's a lot easier to just pick up as like a little finger food. But some people like prefer that. to take the toothpick out 
it will not fall apart most of the time if you take out the toothpick, but sometimes I just like to keep it in there just for a little bit of safety. Right, because everything's kind of melted in there anyway. Exactly. So it's all going to kind of hold together. Oh, man, I'm just leaving them. I'm not turning them fast enough. <laughs> all right. Here we go. And if you have a little extra filling left over, that's totally fine. Most of the time I just eat it myself. <laughs> that's all right. Because we're really looking for the bacon to be more like this rather than like that. Yes. Yeah. We definitely, unless you're into bird bacon. <laughs> Well, I mean, listen, instead of burnt, you you. crispy, right? Crispy, yes, super exactly. crispy. Yes, just extra crispy, yeah. you know? And then you were saying earlier this would be more of like a, a party appetizer or just yes. an appetizer in general. What what else would you serve with something like this? Um, You know, a nice glass of lemonade is also really nice, I find. Oh, because that would maybe take the edge off the Yes, it definitely the takes the heat off, and it also just gives you like a nice tangy flavor. Oh, and there's a little slice of bacon right in there. All right. And see, I hope it's cooled down enough where it's not too hot. Oh, yes. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at that cheese so that's drip. dripping out of there. So oh. that's what you want. Yes, yeah, that okay. is gorgeous. So Isabel's uh, jalapeno poppers, tell us what it's like. All right. Is it super hot? Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Oh, my gosh. And the bacon... It doesn't taste burnt at all. It doesn't taste burnt. No, so it, it tastes just, wonderful. It maybe just was hot enough to just kind of singe it a little bit, not actually burn it. I'm going to steal the rest of this. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's all for you. We'll actually finish these up and kind of distribute them out amongst the other people that are here today. That sounds awesome. And, uh, so, Isabel, mm. you, I think this is probably one of my favorite episodes because I love simple. This was simple. Mm -hmm. I love bacon. There was bacon. <laughs> I'm pretty much down with jalapenos as well, and there were those. So thank you so much for sharing thank you this. So much. And uh, if you have other cool recipes like this, we would love to have you back on. That's so awesome. Thank cool. you so much for having me. So try it at home. Let us know what you think, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.